Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel, with Website Candy, and I got a quick tip here for you with your iPhone and your reminders. I'm not sure if you realize it or not, but you can actually have a reminder remind you things when you leave a certain destination or when you arrive at a certain destination. So let's go ahead and try it out and see if it works here, okay? Remind me to tell John when I arrive at John Smith's house that he is cool. Which John? John Smith. Okay, I'll remind you when you arrive there. Okay, so there's a reminder right there that he is cool and it's kind of in short form, you know, you kind of give some, you take some, but hey, that works enough. That's going to be enough of a reminder. But there's certain things that you want to have in place in order to make sure that this works out as far as arriving and departing certain places is a lot of times you're going to want to have an address and you want to have a person um, that is going to be kind of delegated to. So let me show you, let me go over here to my contacts. Let me come over here to I just created this John Smith. It's not even a real person, but that's the street that I grew up on, not the address where I grew up, but the street that I grew up in Springfield, Ohio. So I have a John Smith in my address book and I created one, two, three, you know, uh, 222. Uh, that's kind of, I messed that up big time. So let me go over here. So this right here is, should just be West State Street is the street that I grew up on and the address should be 123. So 123 West State Street, Springfield, Ohio 45506 is what I created there. Now right here it dropped itself on my honeydew list versus my stop procrastinating list. So the top list right here is going to be your default list and you can move those around by just dragging it just like that there. So right here on my honeydew list you can see arriving at John's home I'm going to get this reminder. Well, I'm not really going to John's home, but I want to kind of show you is created the geotag right here in regards to at the location of John's home there. So I can change it to leaving or arrive. And let me kind of click in here and let me see if I can go over here to my maps here in regards to seeing a more in depth. Um, view of the geotag that is created for me there. So as you can see there, it's kind of created that uh, messed up my con. But as you can see there, I created that geotag in regards to John Smith as far as just kind of messing around. But it's going to remind me definitely to, you know, tell John Smith that he's cool. And I can kind of see it a little closer here. So here's the city, Springfield. And I can see right here this John Street, this Pleasant Street. I do recognize those streets there. So it's kind of, you know, putting itself there in that geotag. So when I re go inside that area right there, it's automatically this alert's going to go off. So definitely use those reminders. I'm going to try to create one more to see if it does it off of an address that I do not have in my phone by any chance. So let's go over here to, and let's get this set up again and say, Let's say, um, hmm. Remind me to buy everyone an Apple computer when I get to the Apple store on North Point Parkway in Alpharetta. Okay, I'll remind you. Okay, so it created the reminder, but it's not geotagged and it's not going to be at that location. So I'm going to remove that and try to do it again. Are you sure you want to delete this remind? Okay, I deleted it. Remind me to buy everyone a computer when I arrive at the Apple Store on North Point Parkway in Alpharetta, Georgia. Okay, I'll remind you. Okay, so being that I do not have that address in my phone, Siri is not going to create a reminder based on the geotag. But as you can see there, it created the reminder based upon the actual, you know, John's location. So let me try John one more time. Remind me to let John know he sucks when I arrive at his home. Okay, I'll remind you. Are you sure you want to delete this remind? Okay, so it didn't okay, get the geotag, so I need to reword that 
a little bit better. So let me try one more time. When I arrive at John Smith's home, let him know he sucks. That's not nice. I, I didn't ask for your opinion. When I arrive at John Smith's home, let him know that he's a really cool guy. Here's the contact info for John Smith. Okay, Siri's just having a fart on me here, but let me try this one more time. Remind me to let John know that he is cool when I arrive at John Smith's house. Okay, I'll remind you when you arrive there. Okay, so there it is. It created it again. And this one says, let John know he is cool when I arrive at his home. This one right here is John Smith's home at that he is cool. So the words kind of got jumbled there. But as you can see, it works based on an address that you have already in your contact list of your phone. So go ahead and give it a try. Let me know how it worked out for you. And leave a comment below and remind me to do something that I possibly should be doing. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye now.